getting an idea of the angulation and how far I am away from the inferior alveolar nerve. So I planned this one over a month ago, so I'm just kind of re-familiarizing myself with it real quick. That's a virtual crown and what the tooth should look like afterwards. Okay, so we just did all the planning ahead of time. The little thing we'll have kind of in your mouth for you to bite on. That's what helps me put the implant exactly where we bite it. Okay. Whole thing really doesn't taste too long. Just tastes like salt water. All right. When she first came in, so she had a non-restorable, it was a lower left molar. We ended up removing and since that's her last molar over there, we're gonna replace it with an implant. And so that's what we were talking about. I was showing her her entire implant plan, everything we're gonna do today. The total time it's gonna take is actually execute that, probably about 40 minutes or so. We have it disinfecting right now. That right there is the guide. We have the sleeve that all of these will fit into so that we go to our planned depth. Okay, and then we're also gonna place the implant with its driver straight through the guide. We have it already marked where it's supposed to be. 